Now, we all love our spooky costumes and our Halloween makeup, but Shane Baum Eye Specialist says make sure you're taking care of your eyes because they risk permanent vision loss. It's not worth the temporary thrill of a crazy costume contact lens or a mask. Now, this is also the time of year when the air gets drier, which means your eyes can be drier, too. So here to talk about some tips to combat that is Amanda Salter. Amanda, thank you so much for being here. This is a topic that I think many people don't even think about, right? It's Halloween. You want to get whatever is going to go with your costume. But what are some of the dangers you see around yes. this time? So I think the biggest concern, like we were just talking about, is the costume contact lenses. So, and that's in specific non-prescription counterfeit contact lenses. So, you know, let's remember contact lenses are a medical device. So they need to be properly fitted to your eye by a doctor who will teach you how to wear them and care for them so that you decrease the risk of an infection. So if you see costume contact lenses that that are available over the counter at like your costume store or your party store or your salon or something, you really want to steer clear of those. Not only are they not fitted to your eye, they may not be sterile, there could be harmful chemicals in there, and all of this is going to increase the risk of a potentially blinding eye infection. Oh my so, goodness. Right. So, you know, if you really want to be spooky with your eyes this year, just go see your eye doctor, get a prescription. That's the safe way to do it. And how often do you see people come into your office after they've tried on these costume contacts? Yeah. Yeah, so, you know, I would say it's more often than you think. There was a statistic from uh, many years ago that said people using these costume contact lenses are 16 times more likely to have wow. an infection than those using regular contact lenses. Now, I know I may be in trouble for the next one because you also mentioned false eyelashes and a little glitter. Yes. Both of those things I have on my eyes right now. <laughs> so talk about that. Yes, those so, you know, and these, are, of course, are issues for all year round, but I think more so for right now. So when it comes to basically just eyeshadow in general, I think cream-based shadows are a little bit more eye-friendly because powders tend to end up in your eye more, mm. particularly glitter, especially when it comes to large glitter particles. I've actually removed those embedded on the surface of the eye before. Oh my so, you know, it can scratch your eye, cause swelling, irritation. So you really want to just be cautious when you're using those. Same thing like when we think about face paint this time of year. Face paint or eyeliner, you want to stay outside of the lash line um, because there are really important tear glands on the inner margin of your eyelid and you really don't want to irritate those and then just making sure you're removing those and so moving on to your beautiful eyelashes so I, I would say as far as like eyelash extensions or false eyelashes I'm generally not a fan. <laughs> um, it's really hard to keep your eyelashes and eyelids clean it when is. you're wearing them. And so there's definitely an increased risk of styes, infection, inflammation. So, you know, I think you can do it safely. I usually tell people maybe save it for special occasions, do it with a professional, make sure it's clean. Mm. And most importantly, you have to clean them daily. Um, Over-the-counter dedicated eyelid cleansers. So that's kind of the safe way to do that. All right, that's what I needed to hear. I didn't <laughs> want to hear it, but I needed to hear it. So you also have, you've already shared several tips, but is there any more tips when it comes to not only dry eye season, but these Halloween costumes and how to protect your eyes? Yeah, so, you know, briefly as far as Halloween costumes, when you're wearing a mask, you just want to make sure the eye openings are large enough so that you know, you're going to be walking around in the dark, low light, you and on uneven terrain maybe. You want to make sure that the eye openings are large enough so you have a good range of vision. If you're going to fall, you don't want to have sharp or pointed accessories because that can cause an eye injury or an injury elsewhere. So. Dr. Salter, thank you so much for being here. This is information we all needed to hear, so we really appreciate that. And we'll have all the tips and information for you guys on our website at WXYZ.com.